Oh, shalom. I'm going to take a segue on this particular um, vid right here and really highly recommend, right, I like to highly recommend that you, that you check out the color of, that you check out this particular film right here, The Color of the Cross, right, this particular film right here, The Color of the Cross. The Color of the Cross, it was produced by actually a, a schoolmate of mine, um, Gene Lamar, starring a next brother in and some of the people I went to school with. And I'm, I'm really pleased and delighted that, you know, that they did such a work that was very accurate in many ways, even though this movie was dismissed by, um, by the world, by Babylon, because it is showing the half of the story that hasn't been told. So this particular movie, Color of the Cross, I and I highly recommend that you check out this film. And I would like to get in touch with some of the, you know, with Gene Lamar and even Jacinto Riddick. We need to really have this as a full 10-hour. In other words, Color of the Cross needs to be a, a fuller, a fuller um, um, movie getting into some of the details because, unfortunately, I think they were only able to touch on some of the some of the basics, and even on that level, many felt that it was highly um, controversial, right? This particular movie, Color of the Cross, right? Color of the Cross, because it shows that there was even 2,000 years ago a a either racial or tribal level about who who was really a Jew and a Judahite, because you had people of the seed. Right, as Yeshua so clearly evident, evidently was of that Ethiopian Hebrew seed, and then you had other people who were who were converted, right, from different peoples, even many Edomites, even Herod himself, who was a popular favorite of the modern white Jewish people. They really like Herod, which is, was kind of strange at first, but then it kind of made a lot of sense because Herod was an Indomian. Mm-hmm. They boast in, 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 in the second temple of Solomon, and they call it Solomon's temple, even though it was rebuilt by Herod. And one of the prophecies concerning the Messiah that gets um, um, convoluted by many Jews, sincerely seeking but missing the point, is that the temple has to be made of stone. They're missing the fact that the prophets speaking on Hashem's um, on command and behalf, says that he will take out of us the heart of stone and he will put within us the heart of flesh. So this particular um, half of the story right here is so, um, is so very important. This is, this is an interesting picture right here. I mean, it's so interesting. I'm just going to save it right now because sometimes you come across some pictures, as some of you all know, and then when you're looking for it later on, you know, you cannot find it. But this particular film here, Color of the Cross, you know, do check it out. Do check out Color of the Cross because it helps us understand that in addition to what we've already been preached or taught, that there was a racial aspect, and we can see the same racial aspect even today. Well, we have the oldest Hebrews or Jewish people, practicing people, longer than any European Gentile tradition, being questioned about the authenticity of Judaism. And we're speaking about the whole Falasha, the Beta Israel, the Falashas of the West. Now, we of this diaspora, so-called Negroes or Hebrews over here in the West, we are the Falashas of the West, those who fulfill right, the biblical prophecies concerning Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15 to verse 68, where we would come into an Egypt or a type of Egypt, a spiritual Egypt. Now, 40 years ago, there was a march on Washington, the city that is built on an ancient Egyptian uh, template, an uh, ancient Egyptian pattern. So we have D.C. built on an ancient Egyptian pattern. We have the other two of the triple cities, London having obelisk, a lot of Egyptology connected with it, even in Rome, the Vatican also having a lot of Egyptology. So they are made on the pattern of Egypt and America, on the pattern of Greco-Rome. But now we have Ethiopia, 
the half of the story that has not been told to us that is on the pattern, right, that is on the pattern according to the pattern of David, right, according to the pattern of David, right? And here we have that king in the form of David, right? And here we have the king of kings, and here is where the other half of the story concerning the prophecy is so very important. But I think that one really needs to check out this film here, right, because this film briefly, right, presents, I don't know, okay, okay there is a part two. Wow, I, I'm seeing that there's a part two, right, there's a part two, Bible films, right, resurrection. I didn't check this one out. This is actually resurrection, right? So other brothers and sisters who I said, um, you know, I went to school with them, uh, BK or Brooklyn College and stuff like that back in the days. Um, and it's really interesting that these brothers who were into filmmaking and acting and, and drama and debate class and everything, and we had our own kind of, they all, even back then, this is where Lion of Judah Society actually started from. They, you know, they would joke around because I was into what I was into and they were into what they were into. But even then I knew that they were, you know, that they were um, curious and, and, and seeking and desirous. And this truth is not just limited to the Nazi dread, you understand, not just limited to, to just us as so-called black people, you understand, just because of our experience. To whom more um, is given, more is required, right? To whom more is given. This is I and I, brother, right here. This is, uh, this is Gene Lamar right here. So we've got to check out this other film, you know, Resurrection. You know, we've got to check out the Resurrection film right there. So um, this is a very, very interesting film because it's one of the few films that actually points out what many of us do through much diligence was able to recognize through study that there was a, a racial right difference even then and once you understand that and you are reading the story right you, you're reading and studying the Bible it will become clear to you now in the fullness of it it will make sense once you have these different um, um, knowledge, you know, the knowledge, my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. You say, why are, well, if that's so for black folks, why are black people in such a situation where it says that my people, right, my people perish, right, because of a lack of knowledge. It is so important, brothers and sisters, especially those of, of, my, of my race as Hebrews, Ethiopian Hebrews, that we get this because Yahweh has a purpose Right? He has a purpose and has not forsaken Israel. And Israel, the true Israel, is the bride. The church is the body of Christ. And the head of the church is Moshiach. And the marriage of the Lamb is the marriage of the true people, the Beta Israel, right? With the true Christian the true messianic teaching, the true teaching, what we call Tawahido, right, or, or true um, Ethiopian orthodoxy. And we're not speaking about the ecclesiastical church. We're not speaking about the modern Ethiopian church, even though much of that knowledge can be recovered. We are talking about this teaching, right, that for 2,000 years was preserved faithfully, right, until the revelation of Haile Selassie the first, right, in the biblical land of Cush, according to that prophecy, uh, Amos 9 and 7. Are ye not like unto the children of the Ethiopians, right? Are you not like the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? Now, with that in mind, we're going to go forward with what we were touching on this um this uh, video right here, Jews for, for Judaism, where there's a, um, a, mess, a, a, a rabbi is responding, responding to Jews for Jesus and the Messianic Jewish movement. And he presents, I'm not going to even say it's arguments, but credible evidence for why certain Torah Jews, Jews who 
who, who love the Word of God and study the Word of God and looking at the Word of God and looking at Christianity as it stands, right, and what is, has been put forward concerning Jesus as the Messiah, cannot or do not receive um, the modern Gentile Christianity, Caesar Borgia's Christianity, right? They, they cannot receive that, right? And he lays out six points. Now, the sixth point is the point right here, and the point is that the Messiah must be a descendant from the tribe of Judah and a direct descendant of King David and King Solomon, right? Now, this particular um, um, rabbi here is going to point out what the Torah says, but among Jews that, and Judaism, there's another tradition that, that says that you are what your mother is, right? You are what your mother is. Now, from the Torah, strictly from the law, right, of, of, of Moses, we find that genealogy, right, or house is reckoned according to the father, right, according to the father. So we're going to pick up on, on, on more of this because this is very important to understand where we're at as we look at this, um, um, we call it the King David, right, the King David enigma, the King David enigma, or the, the, the tomb of David, right, versus the throne of David, the covenant of death, right, the death covenant, right, versus the covenant of life, right, or antichrist versus Christ in his kingly character, or Kedamawi Haile Selassie, all right? So we'll pick up on this in the next part of it, but we just wanted to make this as a as a, as a, as a vid um, for for um, reminding the brothers and sisters to check out Color of the Cross. If you haven't checked out Color of the Cross, I think it's very important to check out Color of the Cross. And whether you pick up on that important and that central point that is made in. Um, color of the cross. It's a very important point that is made in color of the cross, right? That there were, even then, there were, were two Judaisms. And even when we study the words of, of Yeshua, and we do receive Yeshua as Moshiach, right? Due to the understanding of that father-son um, mystery of God that's hidden in, either that was hidden in God concerning God's son, and concerning the Lord of Lords, right, the Son preparing the way for the Father's visitation and the revelation of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, the elect of God, King of Kings of Ethiopia. So stay tuned, brothers and sisters. And and, and check out Color of the Cross and Color of the Cross 2, um, Resurrection. All right? And, and if you know uh, Jean Lamar Jacinto Riddick, um, let them check out this video and just get in touch. This is Adonija. You probably remember I and I are the Lion of Judah, the academic club that was set up at B.C. back in the day. So Shalom Ras Tefari.